Hey there. Once again, I am Jesse Dollamore, host of the podcast, I Doubt It with Dollamore. Didn't think we'd meet this soon again to talk about Josh Feuerstein, but here we are. And before I get started, I want to ask that you share this video with the hashtag Jihad Josh. Our speech must outweigh his. You know, I've actually been criticized on my show for comparing certain religious and ultra-right-wing political zealots in America to the Taliban, Al-Qaeda, and more recently ISIL. Well, Josh Feuerstein has done all of the work for me, proving my point. Threatening comments have surfaced that Josh has made re relatively recently about Planned Parenthood and physicians who perform abortions. Let's check them out. Planned Parenthood has hunted down millions and millions of little innocent babies, stuck a knife into the uterus, cut them, pulled them out, crushed their skull with forceps, ripped their body apart, sold their tissue, and threw them bleeding into a trash bin. I say tonight, we punish Planned Parenthood. I think it's time that abortion doctors should have to run and hide and be afraid for their life. How are these hateful and violent inciting things that Josh just said any different than those from Ayman al-Zwahari, the leader of Al-Qaeda? I say tonight, we punish Planned Parenthood. I think it's time that abortion doctors should have to run and hide and be afraid for their life. And how is that any different from some of the crazed and dangerous rhetoric we hear from Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, the leader of ISIL? وَأَمَرَنَا تَبَارَكَ وَتَعَالَىٰ أَن نُقَاتِلَ أَعْدَاءَهُ وَنُجَاهِدَ فِي سَبِيلِهِ لتحقيق ذلك وإقامة الدين قال تعالى كتب عليكم القتال وهو كره لكم وقال تعالى وقاتلوهم حتى لا تكون فتنة ويكون الدين كله لله I think it's time that abortion doctors should have to run and hide and be afraid for their life. So I ask that you share this video along with the hashtag Jihad Josh. Like I said, our speech must outweigh his speech. And some of you may even ask, why do you care about this mouth-breathing, carnival-barking rabble-rouser? Well, it's because Josh has almost 2 million followers on Facebook. That's 2 million people who ostensibly share his ideas. 2 million people who might just be as angry as he appears to be. And in the spirit of full disclosure and fairness, Josh did come out and say he doesn't condone, condone violence of any kind. Of course, he only did this after the backlash from his previous and obviously more honest feelings were displayed. Look, he can disclaim after the fact all he wants, but the video evidence is inescapable. He appears or wants to appear capable of violence. And he believes there is a war happening right now between his people, Christians, and the rest of the world. Them against us. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? His messages are always calls to action, some with violent undertones, and others just plain hateful. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? This is dangerous. It is dangerous when Josh's rhetoric sounds exactly like that of extreme terrorist clerics who work every day to threaten our freedom. Thanks a lot. Again, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and also the podcast anywhere you get your podcasts. I appreciate it. Have a good day.